Apple's Magic Keyboard actually allows you to do so much more than simply just use this thing as a typewriter, use the touchpad to navigate on icons and such around the display. You can do a lot with this nifty little accessory. And so in today's video, I'm gonna go ahead and share with you my favorite hidden features, some tips and tricks you could do on Apple's Magic Keyboard. And keep in mind, some of these could also apply on the regular smart keyboard or other third parties like from Logitech and such. But in this video, we're just gonna primarily focus on the Magic Keyboard. Some cool things you could do, especially right now with the latest software update, firmware update from iPad OS 14. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, let's quickly begin this video with the basics and some new integrated stuff. So for starters, in the home page, a two finger swipe down on the touchpad will bring down search. By double tapping control, we'll actually allow you to use dictation. Using three fingers on the touchpad, you can swipe between different apps just like so, and vice versa. And if you use three fingers, hold midway, this will quickly launch App Switcher. Now four finger pinch out will also do the same thing. And also will allow you to close the application if you do it quickly. Now, if you're in an app, if you bring your cursor down a little bit, your recent applications will pop up right here as well as your toolbar. And by doing this, it allows you to click and drag and create a split screen view. And depending on the application, you could click and drag it in the center bar and this will quickly take it into side over. Now with side over, if you wanna get rid of the window, just bring the cursor like so, wipe, it'll go away and a two finger swipe again will allow it to pop up. And if you want to, just bring the app up like so, and this will also make it into the side over card. Now, if the application isn't a part of the app toolbar, you can always just tap command and space, and this will automatically bring up the search bar. You can literally type up the app and do it this way. Now to quickly access control center, just go on the battery and Wi-Fi icon, click on it, It'll bring it down. You may also do the same thing, highlight over it and just swipe up. It'll do the same thing. Notifications, swipe from the center top, slide up and it'll bring down your notifications. You may also do a very similar thing with the other side of the screen where it says your time. Click on here, this will also do the exact same thing. Now with the Magic Keyboard, you have to try Sidecard. If you don't already own a MacBook, or any Mac computer, this basically will allow your iPad to become an extended monitor to your computer. So instead of quickly just going into this control center on your computer and enabling sidecar this way, another nifty trick is on the browser you're on, if you tap the little green icon, well not tap, but highlight over it, you can send it to Sidecard right here, and it does this in a matter of seconds, depending how good your Wi-Fi connection is. But from my experience, this works extremely well, and it's really convenient. And in case you're unaware, if you have an Apple Pencil, you may use this as your mouse, because unfortunately the, tra the trackpad doesn't work on Sidecard, but the keyboard does. And since we're in the subject with the Apple Pencil, might as well highlight some of its other unique features you may do. So if you draw something with the Apple Pencil in the Notes app, you could actually select the text. And not only that, if you right click, you can actually copy the text and paste it somewhere else as the OS itself is capable to identify written text, which is extremely useful. And not only that, you could also go back and highlight some of these written text if you need to. Perfect for note taking. And if you want to, by sliding from the bottom corner of either edge of the iPad, like so, this will allow the Apple Pencil to quickly take a screenshot. You may also do the keyboard command shortcut as well by holding down command shift and three at the same time, this will quickly take a screenshot. And then of course you can also do the undo command as well as the redo or copy and paste. That's, that hasn't changed. Now each application does has its own special shortcut that you could do on the keyboard. It's a long list, but if you wanna see the list, just simply hold down control and command. So like on YouTube, we have these options. If you go on the notes, you'll have a much larger list like this. In addition to that, Safari also has its own very shortcuts too, which you could do by doing that. And you could actually scroll between page one and two and memorize these kind of like uh, cheat codes and like Street Fighter games and such. It's kind of like that. 
in a sense. But that's how you can find additional shortcuts per the applications that you find yourself using the most. Now, though there's no function key, there's really no shortcut on the keyboard itself to adjust the brightness, but you can still go into the settings and just cop into the general tab. And right here, just scroll down to keyboard, hardware, hardware keyboard and this is a slider where you can actually adjust the brightness of the keyboard i like to set my max because it's led barely consumes that much energy to begin with in addition to that in here another thing that i recommend to check out go back and go back underneath the keyboard tab there's a trackpad tab right here here's where you can actually adjust the control the speed i should say of the tracking so if you want this cursor to go faster you may do so by increasing it here natural scroll if this is something you like to have enabled you could do that uh, tap to click literally instead of actually clicking down until you hear the click a gentle tap will actually do that click toggle and you also have the two finger click uh, secondary click if you want to play with these settings i just personally prefer having them all off and since we're still on the settings tab, settings application, if you want to change or modify this cursor, if it's too clear, too dark for you or whatever, if you go into accessibility, there's additional features, settings you could adjust to, I guess, personalize this little dot. Go into pointer controls right here and you could enable so it automatically hides or disable this. This way when you take your finger off the cursor, the cursor is going to stay. I like to leave that, leave that on. You may also increase the contrast so it's even darker. You could also adjust the pointer size if you feel it's too small or too big. You could customize it just like so. Give it the pointer animation or not, you could disable that. But the coolest thing I think you could do to really personalize your device on colors, you could actually select a certain color you like. So if you like green, if that grabs your attention, it'll have like a cool little outline and you can actually adjust the border size like so from this little slider. And there you have it. That is my favorite tips and tricks. Some hidden features you can do on this wonderful accessory. If you got some good useful information out of this video, don't just simply leave this video a like, but also get subscribed because I pretty much cover a lot of tech videos very similar to this. If you're wondering what kind of accessories I have on my device, well, this case that I have on my iPad is by Pataka. Allows the device to have a little bit more protection than just simply attaching onto the Magic Keyboard. And it also has this nice, unique carbon fiber look to it on the back. I have this accessory linked in the description and then the decal and such that you see that will also be linked in the description, but you could go ahead and watch that accessory video on my on some awesome accessories that I have on my iPad Pro, which you could go ahead and watch right over here. And then the video right next to that one, that's just a video that YouTube is recommending specifically for you. Thanks so much for watching. Take care, and I'll catch you all in the next one. See ya.